Hello and welcome back to Forts, and we're going, we're going to a very interesting t direction here in Tanya's mod because, well, Tanya's mod just got an update. It got an update to the swarm missiles, something that we haven't really played with much. Not really on stream, not really in any, any of these videos. We're going to be spotlighting some of the changes here, and they're kind of exciting, kind of strange, and we'll definitely throw off a few opponents here, and that's just what I want to see. So basically, we have a uh, an upgrade to the warhead, which means we're going to need a fair amount of technology, an upgrade center, and uh, as everything in Tanya's mod, a good amount of economy to go behind it, because these are not... These are not friendly to the energy bill, if you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and throw down our... Oh, that disappeared. Let's go ahead and throw down our workshop here and start moving across. We do have a 2v2. Almost had a 1v2, but someone joined at the last moment, and, you know, I can't say no to no, two more friends. But this is, concerns me a little bit because that means they'll have access to flak, which can shoot down our, uh, our missiles. We don't like that now, do we? So let's go ahead and get our missiles online before they have an opportunity to notice. I think, with that regard, I'm not going to be spending a lot of resources on covering up. Because I want to get them out as soon as possible. So I'll get down this upgrade center. And then spend all the resources on getting the damage output as soon as I can. Actually, I'm going to sell this off and rearrange the fort a little bit. I, I'm trying both of these tactics because I've got a couple different designs for the front of the base and I keep bouncing between them and I don't know which is more successful so I just keep bouncing between them and see how the uh, results vary so it's it's all right for now all right so now we have that workshop finished let's put down the first missile launcher yeah. and then another turbine here sniper will go here uh, yeah, let's have him in the back where he's safe. Use these wooden doors. I'll replace this with background bracing and another wooden door here. So now we have our sniper. Nothing poking out of our opposing bases there. And we are... Swarm missiles is still building, but we are the overdrive commander. So once those are finished, we'll be able to upgrade them nice and quick. We'll have enough, we should have enough energy to fire as soon as it's completed building. And then, well, we'll get to shock our opponents with a really nice surprise. What I'm considering now is if I want to build the second swarm missile before or after firing the first one. I think I want to fire off this first one, then build off, then sell off our mine and build up the second swarm missile. Go ahead and get a storage for a moment. Put one of these here. This down. Upgrade you. That should be another few seconds before that's done. And then we can get to the level 3 upgrade. And then fire away. In the meantime, let me continue fortifying my base a little bit. Nothing exceptional here, just a little bit of bracing in front. I've got some extra time, a little extra AP in this bin, so I'll go ahead and add a little more sandbag defenses here for our turbines. Double the sandbag, get double the protection, double the fun. We did hear some upgrades coming out of our opponents, I'll have to look out for that. So now we have upgraded to the Phantom Missile. The Phantom Missile, well, it's got an interesting flight trajectory, and more importantly, uh, that's not a sniper. That is a uh, musket. Musket cannot paint targets. How did I th think that was a sniper? Okay, well, well, they have missiles coming at us. Good thing we put up defenses for our turbines because clearly we need it. And minimal damage. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit more on the machine gun department. All right, sniper is ready. Let's go. Phantom missile has been launched. To remove the flak if we can. Alright, it's hit! And look at it go! That is the... Well, that's the joy of the Phantom Missile. It's, it spreads into a million tiny missiles. All of them do minuscule amounts of damage, but it's hilarious. So we're gonna fire one more time and it'll switch out for the bigger launcher, the second launcher. And if we can actually get the full nuke, the full, on there without it uh, breaking apart. 
They don't, that one does actually a lot of damage. If this big boy hits, will it? Oh, it will! And it just wiped out a couple layers of metal off of them. All right, now we're gonna put this back. And we'll have our second launcher almost ready to go. Get some more energy production out of here. And we need 4,000 to fire. It costs just about as much to fire as the uh, standard vanilla nuke. Because, it, yeah, is that exactly the amount? Because it's it's 50 metal? I don't remember the metal cost on the vanilla nuke. We can do some damage here. I think what I want to be doing next is uh, getting an AP sniper and try to pick off some of their anti-air. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to stop things from getting across the sky. Just flood it with missiles. Hey, snipe the tiny nuke. Alright, let me get a couple gunners here. This needs to be straightened out a little bit. Oh, that sounded like a shotgun. Just like that nice immediate shotgun sound. But I need to go further out and then. There we are. So what I'm gonna do is sell this guy off. Put a standard sniper here. There goes our next phantom missile. He's got a flak, and that did enough to split it. But will it be enough to stop it? The answer is no, as all the tiny missiles splatter all over the place. <laughs> Look at the fire. I like that. Alright, let me put a sandbag over here. Keep him nice and almost safe. A bit further, there we go. Just to have some anti-swarm defense of my own. If they have anti-air, I'm allowed to have anti-air too, right? That's how that works. Alright. Here's the trick. They're not allowed to have anti-air. Let's go ahead and remove it. Like so. And then fire again. Oop, I hit my own. But that's fine. Now they have more missiles to deal with. You know, I'm not altogether convinced that the uh, splitting of the heavy phantom missile, the first level, I'm not convinced that's the best of ideas. Is it just spreads the damage out more and all over the place. Alright, time for the double launch. Actually, we don't have enough energy capacity for both at the same time, but we have enough production to fire them both in rapid succession. And well, the explosions from the first will cover for the second. Ooh -hoo -hoo. That's one opponent down, and that's a heavy hit. I like that. Look at all the missiles. They just kind of fly everywhere. Look at that, just doing figure eights. Oh, that's hilarious. I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, but now we will fire both at the same time. Can he defend against it? Find out right now. Oh, he's trying, to, he's trying to build his air defenses now, but it's not going to be enough. Both of these are going to collide in their full form. Oh! Almost directly to his core. You know, they really don't do that much splash damage, but they do a lot of penetration damage. Like, you can see here where these wood planks aren't damaged. But the metal in front of it just destroyed. Oh well. We'll just have to fire them again. They come off cooldown pretty quickly. So we can just keep firing. There it is. That's a lot of damage. Oh man. I, th I think he's actually being held up by these two ropes in the back now. But how much more could he take? Because I don't think he could take much more. He's taking a lot of damage here, and it costs a it's not cheap to repair all that. He's got no anti-air left. Two more phantom missiles coming in. Cutting very deep, but he's just gonna rebuild that. I think I need to uh, change the targeting on those a little bit. Or is he not going to be rebuilt it in time? No, he's focused somewhere else. He's not going to rebuild it. Those missiles are going to go right back to where they once were. And they're going to leave a mark. Oh, never mind. He got a flak up. I didn't realize it. The tiny missiles are trying to finish it off. Oh, is it going to be enough? Oh, it is! And he's down! And that's the end of this one. The Phantom Missiles, and if you guys want to check out this update yourselves, make sure to download the Tanya's mod from the, uh, from the workshop. 
but for now we're off to round two to show up. Oh, I'm down here now. We're off to round two to uh, see if our opponents can counteract these phantom missiles, the new and improved. All right, what am I building up? I want to. I want to spend more money on making money. It's it's always good life advice. Spend money on making more money. Just buy some more mines. Just get some wind turbines. You'll be good. That's that's how it works around here. Okay. Uh, next thing up, I noticed that the uh, upgrade center finished way before swarm missile. So I probably want to put the swarm missile down first, and then we'll get a turbine there, and then I'll do the workshop, then the swarm missile then the upgrade center if I have an opportunity to do that might not have an opportunity to do that we'll see in the meantime let me fortify things because our opponents are definitely going to be playing around more with shooting us let me rope off right back here last round they didn't shoot a whole lot at us they had some swarm missiles their own but they really wanted to go up for the tech rush which is all good I understand it, that's where most of Tanya's mods heaviest and most OP weapons are. But today it's more or less our goal to make sure they don't make it there. To make sure that we just rain warheads from all directions, specifically our direction, into them. Yeah, he, look at that. He's fortifying his bottom now. He does not want to be cut off again like last time. Oh man, that's rough. Oh boy, they're already spending metal on everything. Oh, that's funny. I like that. Alright, so let me go ahead and put the Swarm Missile down first. And then immediately after the Upgrade Center. There we are. So we should have the Metal and Energy for both. Next order of business. Setting up all the uh, energy production necessary, because it costs 4,000 energy to fire each missile. And we're going to want to have two missiles eventually. We're going to need a fair bit of, of energy production. It's just a little bit. If I are, you know, 4,000 or 8,000 worth of energy every few seconds, it's, it's, it's kind of a lot. Right there. And we'll need our regular sniper in here. Please and thank you with his wooden dorage. Let's go ahead and brace this down here, just so we have some extra struts to share the stress. I'll cover him up. Alright. Uh, potential enemy weapon placements over here. But outside of that, that's all finishing up nice and even. You see, that was a nice, nice, more concise more synchronous timing while al also allowing me to get out this uh, wood spam without sacrificing too much. That's a bit better. So we go like so. We can take all the vanilla weapons without harm except for our wind turbines. Uh, I've got hearing a lot of upgrades coming out of our opponents there. A little bit concerning as always. Um, let me move this one forward. There we are. They've already got flak. That's my cue to build my sandbags. We are really leaning forward here, guys. Alright, Phantom Missile is being constructed. And one more turbine? Yeah, one more turbine. Cover these up so I don't have to pay the repair costs on them. And let's launch. Get the snipe. Nope, a little bit low. Really? The flak is just gonna miss? Like, I feel bad for him now. Like, all of those flak just straight up missed. Was It's almost like it wasn't even aiming for the missile. That's just... I feel so bad for him right now. Alright, you with the flak need to stop. I know you got a door over there. So I'm gonna just keep you aimed. Fire at this. And the moment your door sound happens, I'm gonna just click this button. And blow you up. There you go. One less flag for you. And there's the kaboom. Look at the tiny rockets. I like the tiny rockets. I like how they just go flying all over the place. Like, they, they, they're so crazy with their trajectory, they don't even... Half of them expired before having an opportunity to hit anything. 
It's just so zany. Like, what, what do you, how do you expect that? All right, so let me go ahead and start preparing for heavier weapons here. They're gonna have them sooner or later. All right, did you rebuild? No, your door looks like a cylinder construction. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's got the AP. He's got the, uh, the AP flak. That's always exciting. I need to do a video on the AP flak, because the AP flak is disgustingly powerful. Let me get some more metal here. I should probably put energy shields here instead. But for now, that will work. I just shot my own door. Let's remove that machine gunner when it opens. Oh, wow, I didn't hear that sound before. Where did that come from? Oh, jeez, everything's on fire! Why is everything on fire? Oh, they must be the, uh, Firebird Commander. Alright, alright, I'm okay with this. Double production speed. Double build speed. Let's upgrade all of this. Keep it up while we can. Get the Phantom Missile going. Ooh, there's the fire. That'll keep him distracted for sure. All right, there's one flak right over there, right on top of the first base. I've got that pre-aimed now. So this next one should see the destruction of this flak to my sniper. I see his, his gunner's exposed, but I'm okay with this for the moment, because I want to destroy that flak, and the gunner is of less importance. Run open the door. There it is. Ooh. Oh, didn't even destroy the didn't even hit the missile once. Oh, my teammate did, which is fine, because now they have more missiles to deal with. Oh, that's that's going to be fun. I don't think my sniper can actually hit that flak up there. Cannot. I'm going to build another one. Let's hotkey these guys. Send them both into here. Alright, so that first flak should still be down. Ooh, jeez. That was rough. I'm just glad he hasn't taken to using that AP flak against my base. Rather than, uh, instead just shooting- okay, now he's using it on my base. That could be a problem. Right, I need to build the sniper here. Yeah. I need to stop this, but the AP flak is out of my range. So I need to nuke it. Need to nuke a lot of things, really. Alright, this sniper should have access to all of the things now. Ooh, I think that just ignited it. it did. Alright, let's remove your AP flak and your everything else, please. Ooh! That's the cannon. You guys saw that one on the stream. That one does a lot of damage. No whip ends or butts about it. That cannon hurts. Alright. Send off more nukes. Jeez. Just use the other sniper, please. There we go. Didn't want to use the other sniper, but it's fine. Where your flak? Pine doors? Not built yet? Not built yet! Both of these are gonna hit! We're gonna clear out his weapon positions. His core is actually exposed to weapons that can hit from above, which I don't have. Uh oh, bad weapon could we do it? Is it aimed right? Not quite to hit the core, but it does clear out all his turbines. So he's he's in a bad way right now. So all I have to do is just kind of nuke the same spot again. He should be he should not be recovering from that quite so well. Let's go ahead. Uh oh, oh jeez, bad timing. Bad timing, but one's gonna make it across anyways. And we need this. We really needed the second one in there in order to finish that off. I think we're good to go. So his teammate hasn't actually fired any super weapons yet, which is making me concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just for no reason in particular. You know, I'm gonna fit the percent turbine. If we keep focusing fire on that same base, it should go down fairly quickly here. Upgrade him. I know he's not in the best of efficiencies, but... 
more production than what I have currently. All right, it looks like those uh, fire-based machine guns did actually clear out all the rest of his weapons up top. So now my biggest concern actually is this guy down here because he's been pretty free range. In fact, he's upgrading his stuff, all of his economy, which means he's feeling pretty good about himself right now. Oh, there it is. He was building something big and, well, the Phantom Missile's wild, wild pathing just decided it didn't want that some that big thing to exist anymore, so it's it's gone. Welcome, praise be to the Phantom Missile's. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! He's trying out the, uh, the upgraded 20 mil. Uh, they fire straight up. You guys saw his video, saw the video on that. I wonder if he managed to nail it right. Oh, he did? Kind of. One of the shots made it across. There it is. More damage going out. Guess we're gonna upgrade you. Upgrade you, just to be safe. Upgrade. Do this. This. There we go. So we shouldn't be losing to lasers anytime soon. There we go. No laser shell pass, even if it costs us a lot of our energy production. Right, go ahead. Can you get it? There it is. Fire away! Hmm. The turbine's not giving as much as I wanted it to. It's better than nothing, but still. Oh man, those tiny missiles deal a lot of damage. Like. They are, the ghost looking ones really don't deal much damage at all, but just the first or second s split really deals a lot of damage. Like, it, it is not an insignificant amount of damage here. Okay, let's see if we can snipe out the AA here. I got the flak. I love the sound on those fancy missiles. That's one in. And the tiny missiles? Yeah. The tiny semi-transparent ones seem to do more, uh, more just out of appearance than anything else. <laughs> oh, fell before it even hit. Your opponent was trying to build some kind of a structure to help defend against the uh, missiles. Didn't quite work out. But all the energy shields we have now are really uh, draining our energy production. In fact, we can't even fire these missiles in uh, rapid succession anymore, which I believe is completely unacceptable. I took out both of those. I need to shut down some of these energy shields. I cannot be, I cannot afford to be spending this much energy on defense when there are missiles to fire. There we go. There's one, and there's two. Hey, at least they're getting machine guns. Oh wow, look at all those missiles. Oh, they're the tiny ones though. Hey, at least that missile actually blew up one of the uh, machine guns, so it's it's not useless. It just does deals with extremely meager amounts of damage to the uh, the structure of the base, but it seems to deal quite a fair amount of damage to the to the structure, to the uh, weapons and other buildings within the base. Oop. Split it. Not helping his problem much. Actually, it helped a lot, but didn't do much damage. Alright, let's, let's switch targets the guy down here. I see he's tanking up a lot, and doesn't seem to be content about firing after losing his super weapon. Oh, wow, that was a nice tight spread. Alright, activate this, fire again. I know I'm floating resources. I want to finish this with the... Okay, that's a cannon shot. And is there my teammate going to go down? Teammate did not go down. Alright. In that case, we're going to have to uh, change targets again, back up top. Ooh boy. We know where that cannon came from. It wasn't right there. It was right there. And it is ready to fire again. Is he going to fire right now? Because I'm going to snipe it if he does. Yeah, he is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did that cannon come from? Had to be right there then. Right, 
right, I'm gonna just hang on this spot. Oh no, it's below. Oh jeez. Well, there goes our energy production. Good thing we have a commander ability. Let's rebuild these guys. You know what? Even better. Let's do that. That way these turbines should stay at a higher higher percentage. And send off a nuke again. Ooh. Oh, he's building mortars. Building mortars now. I see how it is. Alright, we can't have him having that much machine guns. It seems they're actually somewhat defending quite effectively against these, uh... Nope. Let's stop that in that tracks. Oh, right on top of my gunner. Yeah, you need to be nuked right there a few times, please. And thank you. That should deal some damage. Is it enough to get rid of the weapon? Doesn't look like it. This weapon's way in the back. Maybe we can snipe it. I didn't see it explode. It's a hit on something. Either it's the gun or a turbine. We're not going to be able to get rid of it because it's got the uh, repair bays attached to it. He's going to be able to have that defended long before we can finish it off. Good thing we built the energy shield. Ooh, well there go the turbines. Those were definitely turbines. They were also where my nukes were aimed. Oh, there it is! Found it! Way in the back behind the core. Let's go finishing that off then. One, two, three. That's one very dead cannon. Go ahead and give him the remainder of our phantom nukes. I think he's just given up. No, he's not given up. He's just running real low on resources. Ooh. Is that gonna be it? That's it for one of them. One has fallen to the power of the Phantom Nukes. Let's head off to the next one. He's only got one mortar left. I feel so bad. For, I honestly I feel bad for this guy. It's... His teammate's just been sitting there armoring up. The most he's fired is is one mortar. I, f I feel so bad for that guy. I, I honestly do. But hey, you know. It happens. Ooh. Did he just suicide? Now, I honestly can't. Well, in any case, that's going to be the end of this round. Real unfortunate way to wind it off. But those, those are the Phantom Nukes. New and improved and upgraded. Make sure to try them out for yourselves, you guys. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys later.